Quranic gems. Now in Surah Al-Duha, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, "فَأَمَّا الْيَتِيمَ فَلَا تَقْهَرْ وَأَمَّا السَّائِلَ فَلَا تَنْهَرْ وَأَمَّا بِنِعْمَةِ رَبِّكَ فَحَدِّثْ." Therefore, treat not the orphan with oppression, and repulse not the beggar, and proclaim the grace of your Lord. Here, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is telling us not to mistreat the orphans, the one oppressed. And the beggars, and the verse ends with proclaiming the grace of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Fahadith. Now, if you look at the endings of the verses, it ends with the ra, except for fahadith. Taqhar, tanhar, fahadith. This is abnormal when it comes to the endings of the verse. A more appropriate ending will be fa'amma al-yatima fala taqhar, wa amma al-sa'il fala tanhar, wa amma bini'mati rabbika fakhbir. But why did Allah Subhanahu wa Taala choose the word fahadith? Now, interestingly, the word khabar can refer to something that is true or false, but the word fahadith only refers to something that is true. And the verse talks about people who proclaim the word of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, which is always true. Look at the precision in the choice of word in the Quran. Subhanallah.